Hey guys! So first I'm going to start off with this white cream makeup and you guys can get this in Party City for $2 um, and then I'm going to take my plate where I'm going to mix all my cream colors so there I'm squeezing the white cream makeup then I'm going to take my blue cream makeup and squeeze that beside the white Next I'm taking this green cream makeup and this is optional, I just wanted to make sure that I had the right color for her skin tone and just mix all the colors together when you have the perfect um, coloring that you like then start applying that to your face and make sure to use some water with this cream makeup because it applies so much better that way and if you're planning to do your whole arms and some parts of your legs you might probably need about six cream makeup uh, the white ones and two of the blue ones so here I'm painting my neck and I used about two layers of that cream makeup just so all my skin was covered up now I'm taking my white eyeliner by NYX and I'm just gonna start applying that on my entire eyelids Emily has really big round eyes so I'm just trying to replicate the same eyes on top of my eyelids so I'm just gonna apply that all over and then I'm gonna go over it one more time with the white paint okay so this is the part where I'm gonna start looking really creepy because I'm gonna paint my eyelashes white and underneath my eyes just so when I close my eyes at the end my natural eyes will be invisible Time for shading and this is really important so here I'm gonna take this blue dark blue eyeshadow and using my fluffy brush I'm gently gonna apply that around the white circles of the eyes after you're done shading around the eyes bring the shading down the sides of your nose to make your nose appear smaller And then I'm going to shade a little triangle on the side of my face and this is where all the teeth is going to be peeking out from. I almost forgot the step so if you have any problem with the paint creasing in your eyes just pat a white eyeshadow on top. Now you're going to need a black cream makeup or a black liquid eyeliner and just start outlining around the white paint on your eyes. And make sure you rest your elbow on something steady so you have better control of your hand. Then I'm taking the same black eyeliner and creating her eyelids. After the eyelids, I'm going to draw the eyebrows. So I'm going to basically draw the eyebrows on my forehead and then just curve it down to my eyes. This is my favorite part, so all I'm doing for the eyelashes is drawing little lines around the corners of my new eyes. Um, that sounds kind of weird, around Emily's eyes. The eyes are almost complete. All I'm doing now is drawing a giant dot on top of my eyelids, so now I can see you guys with my eyes closed. For the nose, Emily has little tiny triangles, so I'm just going to do the same thing. And then I'm going to create the rotting part on the side of her face. So I'm just taking the same black eyeliner and creating a little triangle. And then I'm going to do a little teeth-like effects in there. She also has a rotting on the side of her forehead, so I'm going to take my blue eyeshadow and just dab that on there. Emily has the biggest plumpiest lips ever. Even Angelina Jolie got nothing on her. So I'm going to take my pink lipstick and I'm just going to start shaping it and filling it in. Mm -hmm. 
To make the lips look even fuller, I'm taking my white eyeshadow and just patting that on top. Finally, I'm going to start shading my whole face. So I'm going to take that same blue eyeshadow and apply that on my cheekbones and also on my jawline to give it that V shape. Apply the shading on the sides of your neck so it looks like you have smaller neck like hers. Now I'm going to shade above and underneath my collarbone to make it more prominent as hers. It's time to put on the wig, so grab your wig cap and put all your hair inside the wig cap so it's all secure. And here's my blue wig that I ordered from eBay and it ended up being a little more grayish than the picture on eBay so I sprayed some blue hairspray on it and it's all over my fingers right now. Um, and after that take a black bobby pin and just pin the sides. Last but not the least, grab your flower headband and your ripped veil and of course don't forget to put on the dress and then the look is complete. And one more thing guys, my Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas a ragdoll look is up on my channel as well so don't forget to check that out. And thanks for watching my videos. Catch you guys soon. Bye-bye.